Chicago rapper Lupe Fiasco, who was promoting an album called President Obama a terrorist. Now, we're used to irresponsible statements from rappers, but that's really over the top. So I invited Mr. Fiasco on The Factor to discuss it. What do you mean President Obama is a terrorist? My fight against terrorism, to me, the biggest terrorist is Obama in the United States of America. To put it into context, um, I was asked about a song that I did called Words I Never Said, which uh, addresses terrorism. I really think the war on terror is a bunch of bull****. Just a poor excuse for you to use up on your bullets. So the statement that I made, which was, I believe that the biggest terrorist, uh, Obama, and the United States of America, and its foreign policy, that was what the whole you know, context of everything was. And it was really just an expression of me trying to, I guess, understand critically, you know, the society. You know, President Obama is not a terrorist. He's trying to do what he believes is the right thing to do. Uh, the, the United States is not a bad nation. It's a noble nation. We're trying to defend ourselves against people who killed us on 9-11. Well, and, and then you go out there and you talk to a lot of younger people. And this is what gets me. That your constituency okay. are not exactly political science PhDs, okay? They're impressed. Well, I, don't kids. Think, I don't think that that matters. I don't think you need no, to have a political listen to PhD you, to, understand, to understand, they listen well, to to you. understand politics. To understand politics, I don't think you necessarily need that. And I don't think that politics are as complex as people like to make them seem or out to be. Richard Nixon said that, you know, if you, they reduced fear by reducing the causes of fear. And in, in that same interview, which I spoke about, you know, calling Obama a terrorist and every president before and after him a terrorist, right, <laughs> is that if you're going to fight terrorism, right, yeah. true terrorism, you know, weaponize fear. In defense of ourselves, we're fighting, actively fighting something else. But if you're going to fight terrorism, to me, you fight the root causes of terrorism. The root causes of terrorism are many. Okay, they are varied. It depends region to region and all of that. The United States cannot cure ills in the world. What the President of the United States' responsibility is, is to protect you and me. That's his responsibility. And he's doing it through aggressive action. So, Navy SEALs kill bin Laden. You okay with that? With him hunting, hunting down a criminal, a person who's responsible for the deaths Right? Of innocent people? Yeah. I have nothing wrong with that. Okay. I mean, there's, there's so when Bin nothing, Laden got nothing. killed, you didn't have any, any problem with that? That was okay. Legitimate action. You know what I had a problem with? The war, the war in Afghanistan. Okay, you, right? you have a the problem with Afghanistan. the war in Let Afghanistan. Let me finish. The point, the point of the war of, of Afghanistan was yeah. supposedly to yeah. go in and find Bin Laden. Right. Well, but no. in the interim no, of that, in right. the, no, no, in the in, in the well, 9/11. Mr. Jaco, right? Le, Osama look, bin Laden. What you just Osama said is, bin Laden. What you just said is fallacious. That means it's wrong. It's not the, fallacious the, at all, yes, sir. It it's not Here, wrong. It's not why, wrong. The point and the purpose of why then why do we go to why are we in Afghanistan if it wasn't to hunt down Al Qaeda and the terrorist you network, sir? Because it definitely it? wasn't for any other reason. I will, no, that's wrong. I will answer it. The reason we went to Afghanistan was to deprive Al Qaeda of a sanctuary. We removed the Taliban government when they wouldn't crack down on Al-Qaeda. Now, to get bin Laden, that was another part of the operation. Okay, but it's a but part it of the was operation, sir. It's not the separate. It's, it doesn't, but it doesn't. But that doesn't negate it. That doesn't take it away from the no, purpose of it. Just because it was another part, sir. It it's in the same. It's in the same to the war. The war. No, is, it gives a legit. No, the the legitimate part of it is to go find a criminal, right? No, the legitimate right? Not part to, not, is not to not to aggressively remove a government. Not to, no, the re the legitimate part is to remove a government, which we did, which enabled. A terrorist group to declare war on the United States. That's what Sir, happened. Now that 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 thinking right there. Yes. That thinking right there is what I have a problem with. Because if that <laughs> if that's the case, then that is us. You are oversimplifying and bringing a message to people, younger people, as I pointed out, who admire you. That is a message that is not true. So to say that the president of the United States of America, all of them, not just Obama, because I'm not trying to under, undermine him, and him being a terrorist is just one label. He's many things. Like you said, he's a protector, he's a father, he's a midst of other things. Me just recognizing his that one particular attribute of him is not me trying to at, trying to undermine him or undermine my, my constituency or, or spread lies or spread rumors for the sake of anybody. I don't really care about the GOPs or the Democratic Party. My point is the people and giving the people well, the truth. Well, you're misleading so with that said, the people our president, who, our president, I, I'm them. not misleading the you people, are sir. Misleading the, the president, the president 
United States of America is the commander in chief of our armed forces. Okay. So it's not it's so not what a you're lie. Is as basically, you say. The, basically, the entire U.S. government and the military attached to it is a fiasco. If you do want to change the name of the show to the Fiasco Factor, right. you know we'll definitely license the name out to you. I'll even do it for free and just take <laughs> do the Do I have to wear the glasses if that. I do that? Do I have to wear the glasses because it's daytime? Stick. And they're actually their prescription. Okay, great. All right, Mr. Fiasco, thanks for coming on in here. I appreciate you, Mr. O'Reilly. Have a good day. All right. This would be a good time to give you the result of our BillOReilly.com poll. We asked you, did the media give too much coverage to the Anthony Weiner situation? 46% said yes, but 